So, hello and welcome back to another episode of Europa Universalis 4. Of course, we moved on the fantasy mod as Codenta. And we have officially become a country. We have the button clicked. Now, of course, we are still somewhat uh, uh, in need of money. Because I definitely want to get these two thingies done here before we form anything. So this is gonna take a moment. I'm currently thinking if I want to do this through conquest. Why is everybody angry? Oh, yes, because there are so many orcs. I don't want to throw out the orcs. I mean, we're, we're gonna be. We're Coronta. We are half orc. We need to integrate the orcs into our country. I'm actually not sure what the miss what missions they have for that. But I guess it is manageable. I mean they're gonna probably rise up. We're gonna wait until they're at 90. If I don't miss it. Under fire a ghost that rules the battlefield. We also soon have enough have enough manpower to start a war against the Mahold. We could attack could we attack Flunghead? No. Would take a year for that to come around. Alright. Let's see here, so I guess it's not that far away. Depends on what these guys do to them. I don't think we can take their province. But we'll see. We will see. I mean, I'm all for conflict, obviously. Big fan. Pop. Alright, now we need you. And we definitely need you. So, actually, something else. The Renaissance. How's that looking? That should be growing now, but it's growing slowly. So we have the extra death cost reduction at the moment, right? Uh, working adventurers. Yep. Maintaining the frontiers. And of course, we're also human. I guess that is uh, encouraging to actually go for pioneers here. Yeah, we're gonna switch to pioneers. We no longer need like all of this army stuff. So that means, of course, that we need to switch that out. Yep, S a bunch of dead guys. I'm sorry, my friends. I'm very sorry. But we need, we need renaissance, and we need a big capital. Either way. This one wouldn't give anything there. Oh, there we go. Like I said, I want to at least get to this, for the tech cost reduction. It probably is Dump, but Dump is my second name. <laughs> Maybe. What's it to you? <laughs> uh, we have no stability at the moment, but that's alright. So we're also gonna take this reduction here. And then we could technically do this, but I do want to save money. Oh, there we go. Lofane Blue Tusk retires. That's it, we're gonna have a read for that. It's not easily work it's not easy work leading the current tower. In fact, it's quite difficult, shepherding this ragtag band of adventurers into something more. Even though the manic chaos of those first few years have pa has passed, when he forged a broken circle into Esgan's sword and shield, Lofane Blue Tusk Muna work uh, Suna's work has not yet ceased. There are always more campaigns to plan, even if he is not at the vanguard. There are always more adventuring disputes to smooth over, the same arguments rise, arising again and again to the point he feels he could handle them in his sleep. There are always more forms to sign, more work orders to requisition, more trade agreements to be forged, new land to divvy up, and old grudges to sort out. It's enough that the days blur by sometimes, and the weeks, and the months, and the years. Or so Lofen realizes, one day, as he sits at his desk in the center of Eondras, what once was a command tent became the largest room in a, in a hastily constructed fort. Then a similar space in a somewhat more sturdy fort, and now they've relocated him in, into one of the growing city's new, city's new castles. But when he puts down the paperwork and steps into the stone hallways outside, he realizes he doesn't know anyone in the current tower by name anymore. He can still remember vividly Arosha's wicked grin as she bested him in a duel, Full foot, full foot smile as he dealt a round of cards, 
Greek whistles fiery anger. But the faces that scurry through the dusty through dusty corridors and bring him forms to sign. All those souls in the nearby newly built houses. They all uh, they all love and respect him, but not a single one know him knows him. He's pretty sure he's the only one that remembers the heft of Current's blade, the dented steel of her shield. All the icons that crop up carved into wood or sketched on parchment don't quite capture it. And the ribbon around his tusk has frayed to mere strands. It's time to go. Put down the sword, let someone else hold the shield, a quill and a piece of parchment and memories of love and loyalty and something more will do for him now. That's a shame. Because now this garbage guy is in charge, <laughs> and we don't like that. We are probably losing uh, adventuring efficiency. Yeah. I feel like we're gonna push that up here. Still. Oh, we do need to lose our current leader. Definitely. <laughs> we also obviously... I mean, there's no question. We're gonna keep Corin around. There is no question about that. We are now in ne negative stability, so I'm not sure... I mean, our admin uh, uh, gain has not really lowered down. But this guy needs to die. This one is hap happens next year. I mean, I kind of want to do this. Oh. Well. I mean, that's a fight. Let's wait a month at least. So, they get a little bit of attrition, we get a little bit of thingy. Ah, uh, sure, we'll take the prestige. Don't kill yourself. I mean, actually, no, no, wait, wait, kill yourself. <laughs> okay, that's, that's a little bit harsh, but. <laughs> Sometimes I say words, I don't quite mean them. Flying Hound, where are they? I mean, it doesn't really matter where they are, they're gonna be weak as hell. Actually, we'll just declare this war, who cares about that. Can we take this? This one is basically the same thing, right? Yeah. Let him die, let him die. He has done enough. I mean, he's a good, he's a good general, but he's a garbage uh, leader. I clearly want to get rid of him. But I like Blue Tusk. I like that he kind of not just like uh, dies or anything. And more like realizes that this is no longer what he wants to do. Which is understandable. What a good lad. Big fan. Alright, we're just gonna wait until we are a little bit uh, at limits here. We can, of course, pick ahead of time, but I don't think I want to do that anytime soon. What do I want with the egg of right money? <laughs> I just was wondering, why am I doing this war? Ah, money. Yes, finances. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. Uh, do we care about the negative stability? I kind of don't. Like I said, we have the, we have the points to spend elsewhere. We want to get this one done and this one done. But I feel like we do need to desperately get this one. Has anyone else taken uh, the Renaissance yet around here? No. Yeah, that's kind of really an encourage encouragement to get this one. How much do? How much would we need? And of course, we're gonna do a lot of this one. I'm actually gonna get rid of all of this. You know what? We can actually get it. The rest of the st uh, thingy we can wait. A fairly military focused capital now, but... I can live with that. So, this one sieged. We cannot go here, probably. No. So. We could take this province. Technically. Uh, we're gonna have to walk through some people. Under fire, a ghost that rules the battlefield. Move between the lines, a soldier breaking the confines. Just another man and a rifle, a marksman and a scout revealed. Why do I?
Okay. <laughs> that is shit. Good. Then we need to go the other way around. Can we even do that? No. Alright. I guess what we then need is to wait. Until when is that? Four more years. Okay. I mean, I want this province. I'm not... I'm not... Uh, like, how much money would you be worth? Yeah, pff. I'm gonna wait this one out. I mean, we don't need to pay our army, really. Like, there's no need for that. We can make money. Uh, no. I'll take the... I'll take the manpower recovery speed. That, I think, probably makes a lot of sense now. At the moment. When I have this one done, we can switch over to a better, a better admin advisor as well. God's sake. Hmm. Let me just quickly check something. Oh, but... Okay, yeah, whatever. Whatever. Lovely. Go away, Machas. No one likes you. I feel like definitely, I'm definitely gonna take this one here. Uh, military... I mean, he was not that expensive. Yeah, we're gonna keep you around at least. This guy's probably gonna live forever. I, I, I can already feel that in my bones. Oh, that's not a cool event. <laughs> that's that's not that's not cool. Uh, Cray Orc allies costs me. We we we, we'll, we would get manpower, power protection. You know what, that's not the worst. I mean, I feel like Frozen Moor is gonna collapse. Oh, really? Then do we need that? I mean, it would be manpower recovery speed. Nah, you know what? You're a failed state at the, at the moment. Like, there's, there's no, no other way to say that. You're collapsing. And I'm not here for it. <laughs> let's, let's phrase it like that. We're not getting mo oh we're not gaining uh I guess we could then just wait until these guys are out really I don't see us getting to them at so at any point we're just gonna use the length of war stuff to really get anything done that's cool uh, how much would this cost? 238. That's not a question if you want to spend that money or this uh, uh, stuff here. And this one is up to 680. Hmm. Could start another war. We could jump on Groundhog. Yeah, you know what? Oh, the Order of the Ashen Rose would guarantee you. That's actually fantastic. That's amazing. And we cannot do this one here because it would call in everybody else. But we could at least see if we can get one thing out of them. That is not too shabby. I think I'm gonna be stronger than them. I actually do have a better leader. Alright, let's pay the army. We also need to care about Groundhog itself because, well, they have diff uh, uh, enough different problems going on. Uh, this one currently has a slight. No, we d we did get rid of the extra cost. 
I don't think I can take really uh, like anything on the side out of them, but we can clearly do the uh, do the money out of them. Could you stop taking over marches? Why are you why are you grinding? Army tradition war works. I guess because we're at war. Okay, <laughs> I get it. Understandable. Have a nice day. Oh yeah, the pioneers take over, obviously. Corin, yeah, let's roll those low numbers. I didn't roll above a five there. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> okay, these guys are just doing silly things. One, two, three. Yeah, just wandering off now. I have time. Could we actually may now make it over to uh, these guys? We could actually make it over to these guys. Okay, let's quickly finish uh, the Order of the Ashen Rose here. We're gonna take that. And now I'm gonna go for the admin ideas. Maybe we can even get through the cost reductions here, through the Renaissance. I mean, it feels like it's necessary. Yeah, I think I'm probably gonna do that. Oh, these guys also are now free. Do you have numbers? No, good. We probably should actually occupy you as quickly as possible. So, so that nothing else bad happens. Hello. Good sirs. There we go. Lovely. Ah, oh, these guys escape. We don't want that. One, two. And you guys chase somewhere around here. Okay, these guys are dead. You guys are running somewhere. Okay. You're gonna come here so you can siege that. You guys come back down. Because, of course, these guys still have num something going on. But not like, no crazy amount of numbers. It's down to 8k. I guess we do want to... Yeah. These guys are dead. Okay, we're gonna chase this army here. Just to make sure. Fantastic. We can also attack Blood Gorger again. Blood Gorger is actually important because they have Custom enough, and I do want Custom enough as soon as possible. You only have Dog Eater on your side? Yeah. Not gonna be a problem, really. I mean, we do should have like a quick manpower gain now. Come on, where, do, where are these guys running? Not really running anywhere, are they? So, Renaissance. I mean, that's just a little bit shit, isn't it? I mean, at least they don't have the numbers now to actually siege something. These guys also don't have forts, so we should be alright. Now we save up for the uh, the last cost here. 600. Reasonable. Thanks, natives. Very cool. Always glad to have you guys around. Goddamn bastards. Okay. Army's dead. Don't tell me you're not killing this army. Okay. We can ignore them now. This is... This is ridiculous. So... <laughs> okay. This can... We can pick ahead of time. Lovely. Alright. Doing everything around here. We could also now get these guys, if they don't want out already. No, they're not convinced. Well, can't, no worries, we are very good at convincing people. It's also gonna be an extra money gain, so we clearly want it. <coughs> Soldier with no will to kill will fulfill the heart. 
All right, we could also have get a bigger army. Obviously, we have an, after we improve the capital. Under fire, a ghost that rules the battlefield. Move between the lines, a soldier breaking the confines. There's another man and... Ah, what are these early game sieges? Don't go so high. It always takes forever to breach those stupid walls. Wah, 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 wah. Okay. Time to deal with these guys, finally. Oh, you have a mage leader. Cool. Very epic. I guess we do want to get money out of you, so we're gonna do the siege fully. But actually, we can end this war now. I probably cannot take anything from you, can I? Oh no, I can! Nice! Oh, that's very good. It's also a nice chunk of money and war operations. We clearly want a disconnection here. Good. Uh, currently we have only war exhaustion and a little bit of admin efficiency from... Uh, yeah, this is acceptable. Oh no, is it? No, wait, no, what? No. Not clicking that. Okay, we could take all of that. Nah, it makes no sense. We're gonna do this. Not much money, but war operations. We are not spending our admin on this. But at least we got a nice chunk of money. Okay, our manpower is a little bit suffering. That's got 450. But we should gain it fairly quickly through the uh, uh, stuff there. No extension should, I mean, does hurt a little bit. Fuck off. Actually, now we could po potentially click it. Yeah. Ah, screw it. If we could, if we just shortly have the opportunity here to click that. I'm clicking this. So, you guys, it's probably not much money, but it is money. Belgian capital makes no sense anyway. With these guys. So. Black flag, you can go home. You guys. I still want this province and that money, so. Alright. Next one to declare war on. That fang has clouded eye on the side. You guys probably still yeah, have all of these guys. There we go. You guys don't have that much. And I feel like the, they might... Oh no, this, this is not looking good for the uh, Wars of Uncard. Oh, but they still do, do not join. Okay. You have numbers, but you don't have technology. And you don't have morale as well. <laughs> that should be caught. Yeah. That... I mean, we do want to keep the marchers in charge at this point. <laughs> Looking at the amount of warfare we are doing. One, two, three, four, five, a lot. Uh, this is... Oh, yeah, cool. Glorious Adventurers, the blue reputation. We have the prestige for that. We are not uh, calling in any allies for this. So, lovely. Also see about the Pioneer Guild. I mean, this, yeah, no, th th this is not an attack that we're gonna do. I want to gather for the siege. Doing swell around here. Oh, well, that was very quick. You take one province and your money. Oh, look at that. That's clearly worth it. 
cast enough in our hands. Oh, and we're getting bigger. All right, who's next on the list? Bladebreaker, you took a nice bite out of these guys. You allied to Dog Eater. Dog Eater would join that. And Dog Eater is allied to uh, two more. Okay, so Bladebreaker is the better choice. We're only one tech ahead. That's the only thing. Oh no, we're two techs ahead. But it, this, the tech seven is uh, uh, bad. Mm, I still would do this fight. I have a truce with you guys. Okay, scratch that. <laughs> Optional year. We take the money. You guys have a bunch of allies. Counts League. Marhold. <laughs> ah, but you have more allies. Okay, this is then too much, right? Yeah. Too many people involved. We could go for Dead Fang. When you are all in the ally to Clouded Eye, yeah, we're gonna go for you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. Uh, we are all. No, we're not doing that, right? We want to get to admin tech seven. At the moment, we are very close to this one, so yeah. We're not coring anything at the moment. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, you guys? Military access. I need. So we don't need to leave many people here. Oh, come on. Why are we... Nah. Okay, at least you guys are doing this correctly. You guys are running here. That should be enough. Clouded Eye we can walk to. Yes, fantastic. Let's see if this, if you're soon in. Yeah, yeah. Good. So, how many troops do you have, Clouded Eye? You have 11k. Good, easy. Need to keep this military access active here. Because otherwise we cannot really walk around. When this siege is done, we can get rid of it. So let's see where your army is, Clouded Eye. Oh, Dog Eater. Okay, they snuck around me. Good to know. These guys are just running into the, <laughs> into the mountains. Cool. Very cool. Uh, we might have to cancel the siege here because these guys are getting a little bit too close for my liking. Are they sitting there or are they moving along? Oh no, they're moving along. Okay. Yeah, we need to leave there. There's no questions asked. This is 11k against 4k. No matter how strong my army, that is not a fight that we want. So let's wait for everyone to come around. Good. So clouded eye. We're not doing that. Okay, we actually would run here because you're gonna get locked in and then we can. Okay, then we're gonna do it here. I oh, see so you got some friends. That's cool. Are, are you retreating here? No, we're retreating all the way home. So we're doing this siege. Let's finish the siege before anything bad happens. There we go. He's dead. Good, good, good. Yeah, lovely. Now we need a normal leader. Actually, we can already do this here. Uh, obviously, one thing that is very clear. Corin. I mean, I know there would be other efficient stuff. Clearly, there would be other efficient stuff, but... We are Corin, uh, we're picking Corin. It's it's a simple it's a simple uh, thing to do. Uh, are these guys faster? Oh, that doesn't look like it necessarily. They're gonna occupy a bunch of my territory, but who doesn't do that this day and age? 
We have to wait anyway. Depends now how long the siege actually lasts. But I guess we're also gonna end this episode here anyway. Come on. There we go. Yeah, and I guess see you guys next episode. Bye!